Hi, I'm Ashton Greer, Community Relations Administrator with the City of Danville. Last week, myself and three other judges auditioned over 30 individuals in Vermilion County. And tonight, you get to hear the best of the best. But before we get started, I'd like you to get to know each of them a little better. You can't win every every competition, but uh, just being, you know, if I make it to the top tour, that's that's a great ach achievement for me just to be singing amongst some of the best in town. It's gonna give people that shot that like they've always dreamt of taking, you know, that, that oh, I bet I could do this in front of a stage, you know, in front of an audience. That's what it is for me. For me, it's kind of like an excitement, but at the same time, you're obviously gonna be nervous if you're performing live and any time, no matter how many times you do it, but it's like an excitement and nervous feeling. I think it's just essential to the young kids. It's just, it's, it's a cool thing. I'm really nervous to see if I even got in, but it was just great. I loved it. I know that with a lot of practice and motivation to do something like that, you can do it. And I feel like by singing, I can motivate people to do what they love and not be as afraid. I hope they go home thinking that they're inspired to perform because I want more performers in life because I feel like that would be better and there would be more shows and more enjoyment to like sit down and watch. It's a way that the community can come together. This is just a way for us to have fun. The reason I picked Shower Me With Love, I figured that song with all everything that's going on now, I think the city could use uh, to bring that love back, that right there will give people hope that there is still some good memories there and there is still some good love there. I think anytime you can pull the community together with an event like this, I think it's pretty cool. And then showcase, you know, there are people here that have amazing talent. It's a win-win for everybody. There's so much going on in this community. There really is. It's an amazing community of people. It's just the nicest folks, most down-to-earth, genuine people you'd ever meet in your life and there's so many really talented people and it's just really cool that there's a way to to highlight that and to bring those people together and and have other people in the community see that and enjoy it there's a feeling to to danville there's a feeling to the town it's not so big that it's daunting but it's not so small that there's nothing so i, I feel like danville just has a a good feel to it the people the camaraderie the neighborhood the feel and that's something i've always uh, gotten from from Danville. I think it's just a positive reason to bring people together. We need that right now and so just to focus on having some fun and just celebrating like the talent this town has. I think it's just a good of fun event to bring people together. It's sort of heartwarming and just nice to be a part of the interaction. Honestly, I'm just so proud of people for getting out of their comfort zone and taking a chance and being here tonight. It's been really cool to see all the different folks who have so much talent. The best way I can sum it up is yes, Danville does have talent. It would really be a big blessing to just be on stage again at the Fisher. There's a lot of memories here. I love old theaters, so the idea of being able to perform in an old theater is just like something that's blowing my mind. I think it's just an honor just to be able to perform in that space. It'd be great to just see all my familiar faces in that beautiful place. It's such an iconic building and it's so beautiful what they've done with the place. I, it would just be so much fun. Good luck to everybody and I hope we, you all have fun doing it. <laughs>